going to be our big focus overnight is actually the dew point. All right, snow is already making inroads into the southwestern part of the state. You see that here on Storm Tracker 4, and this is going to be a band of snow that pretty prominently makes it through the area, already moving into the south zone by 8 o'clock, even our southern west zone. And you can see this band, you see the dark blue, it's going to be snowing pretty hard for a brief while, maybe an hour or two, and then this thing passes to the north. And as you can see down here, there is going to be an area here after that band passes through where some of us actually see a break in the action, maybe just a light flurry or a snow shower. But as we get into late tonight and tomorrow morning, another resurgence of moisture comes in, and it's still going to be below freezing at 8 o'clock. So that means a large number of us are going to be getting freezing rain. And that's going to be rain that's falling but freezing on the pavement because the temperature is below freezing down here at the surface. But by late morning, this front approaches that boosts our temperatures up above freezing. In fact, we'll be near 40 by noon, and then this thing sweeps on through by the end of the afternoon. And tomorrow night through New Year's Eve should be mainly dry. Now, as far as snow amounts, we're going to divide the area into three sections. Now, our south zone, we're probably looking at about a half inch or so, perhaps a little bit more than that. The central part of the area, we're going to say from I-94 to about M-59, we're looking at maybe an inch of snow. And then north of M-59 and into our north zone there, looks like more like a couple of inches of snow. And the reason for the disparity is very simple. The longer it takes you to change from snow to rain, the more the moisture falls as snow, so it piles up more. All right, 30 is the overnight temperature toward morning. We'll drop into the 20s and then rise toward 30 degrees by morning. And then tomorrow during the day, again, we rise to around 40 degrees during the day. So this all changes over to rain. And this can be, by the way, a breezy day tomorrow. You'll notice that as well. And then on the seven-day forecast, you can see we have some 40s still left in the forecast, but on Friday, the next storm, it's going to start as freezing rain, and then it's going to change to rain during the day. So that's uh, really, we're doing part one today. We're going to have take two coming up on Friday, guys.